Hello, I'm going to read you a story about being uh, lazy about cleaning up your room. Some of you may not always pick up all your toys and your books and your backpack and your clothes and your mom may say it is time to clean up your room and I just wonder how some of you feel about that. I know when I was little that wasn't my favorite thing to do and uh, sometimes my mom would call my room a pigsty. So that is the name of our story today. Pigsty by Mark Teague. Monday afternoon, Wendell Fultz's mother told him to clean his room. It's turning into a pigsty, she said. Wendell went upstairs, and much to his surprise, a large pig was sitting on his bed. Pardon me, said Wendell. He shoved some toys into his closet, but the pig didn't seem to mind the mess, and Wendell found that he didn't mind the pig either, so he decided to take a break. When Wendell's mother came to look at his room, the pig was hiding, but the mess was still there. She threw up her hands. Okay, Wendell, she said, if you want to live in a pigsty, that's up to you. Wendell could hardly believe his luck. Now I can live however I want. He didn't even worry when he came home on Tuesday and found a second pig in his room. The mess had grown a bit worse, but he was able to jam most of it under his bed. Pigs are all right, he said, as long as it's only one or two. In fact, they had a wonderful time. They played Monopoly until late each night and left the pieces lying all over the floor. They had paper airplane wars and pillow fights. The bed became a trampoline. And then two more pigs showed up. The mess just grew and grew. That night, when Wendell went to bed, the pigs were lying everywhere. They rolled up in his blankets and hogged his pillows, too. Wendell told himself he didn't mind, but then he found hoof prints on his comic books. That looks like something he cares about. And Friday, when he got home from school, he saw that someone had been sitting on his basketball and his baseball cards were chewed. That does it, said Wendell. I've had enough. And he ran downstairs to tell his mother. Sorry, she said, but your room is your responsibility. And she handed him a broom. Wendell started to complain. The mess was too huge. But suddenly he rem remembered a saying that he'd heard. Many hooves make light work and he marched upstairs and organized a cleaning crew. They swept and scoured and polished and scrubbed, and later that afternoon, Wendell inspected his room and pronounced it clean. In fact, it was a bit too clean from a pig's point of view, so while Wendell inspected, the pigs prepared to go home. One of them made a phone call and a farm truck came to pick them up. They hugged and grunted and oinked goodbye. And from that day on, Wendell kept his room clean. Except for those nights when his friends came by to play Monopoly. <laughs> That was a fun one. That was silly to think of pigs moving into his room. And uh, 
then when it became a little bit too nice and clean, they said, let's, let's go find another pigsty. Be careful or they might move into your room. I will see you soon. I hope you liked the book today. Bye-bye.